In the previous lesson we have installed a couple of terminal extensions that will simplify our work in the terminal. And these extensions are omyzsh as well as prompt starship. But after installing the prompt starship we can see that there are some characters which are not properly displayed yet. And in this lesson we're going to fix it. So as starship documentation recommends us we have to install special fonts in order for those special characters to be properly displayed. So let's follow this link and we're gonna end up on this website. And this website contains lots of different fonts for programming that support lots of different special characters. So let's go to the download page and right here we can choose any font we like. I'm going to choose font called JetBrains Mono. So we have to install this font. Let's firstly download this and the process of installing font will be different depending on the operating system. I'm going to show an example how to install the font on macOS operating system. So to install the font on macOS we can use FontBook application. Let's open up this application and then we just have to drag all those font files that we have just downloaded and drop them right here onto a FontBook application and this way all these fonts will be installed. And then we can go back to VS Code, open up settings file and right here we're going to use one more setting that allows us to configure the font which should be used inside the terminal. So, but I still prefer to use the same font that I use for my editor, so I'm going to use font Denk Mono, but as we can see in the terminal font was changed, but a special character is still not displayed. So as a fallback font, we're going to use the font that we have just downloaded, JetBrains Mono Nerd Font. And this way, all those special characters that cannot be displayed by using my main font, they will be displayed by using the fallback font, which in my case is JetBrains Mono Nerd Font. And by the way, if we right click on this area, we can choose which tabs should be displayed. I usually display only one tab, which is terminal, so I'm gonna hide the rest. And the same thing I'm going to do with the terminal tabs. So if I'll open up more terminal tabs by using this command, as we can see on the right side, all those terminal tabs appear, but I prefer to hide this, so I'm going to specify the following setting. And the setting that we need in this case is called Terminal Integrated Tabs Enabled. And since I want to hide tabs, I'm going to use value false, and this way those tabs disappeared. But instead, in here we can see the drop down, which we can use to still toggle between open tabs. But honestly, I don't even use this drop down, and to toggle between tabs, I usually prefer keyboard shortcuts. And now we're going to apply a couple more settings to improve the overall look of the text in the terminal. First of all, I prefer the line height to be bigger, so I'm gonna switch over to the settings file. Let's specify the setting which allows us to increase line height of the terminal, which is integrated line height. And the value I'm gonna use is 1.8. And this way line height will be drastically increased. For me it looks much better. Let's continue. I also prefer to increase the font size of the terminal, and the setting that we need to use is called integrated font size. Let's use 14. And finally the last thing I'm going to do in this lesson is change the color of this cursor. So let's go back to the settings file and find a color customization object where we override some of the colors of the current theme. And in order to override the color of the terminal cursor we need to use the key called terminal cursor dot foreground. And just to match colors of my current theme, I'm going to make this color purple, like so. And as we can see, color of the cursor was changed. So let's continue reviewing other VS Code settings in the next lesson. And the link to the repository with these settings will be in the video description.